Hello everyone, this is Fanny. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share how to make those cute Halloween t-shirts using a affordable heat transfer binder. So you want to see how I did it? Let's keep on watching. So for those projects, we're going to be using the HTV run. Uh, they sent me that package of uh, vinyl and I'm really curious to use it. This is my first time trying those and I'm going to give you my honest review. Alright, here is the package. Right on the package comes with a little wooden tool and for both sides as you can see, which is really nice. And also come with a little instruction uh, paper basically and the temperatures uh, recommended for this kind of vinyl all right so also here i'm just showing you how beautiful colors come on this bag i was so exciting i didn't even know what to use but i, I decided to make some cute halloween designs so i already had the designs on my computer so i'm just going to be using my Cricut uh, cutter so here I'm just going to be placing the vinyls and the colors that I choose. I thought that orange it was so beautiful and bright and also the white. Alright, so two of the vinyls are already on the mat and now I'm just going to place it on the cutter. Alright, we had the designs cut and now it's time to try the new weeding tool. Alright, so uh, this vinyl is actually really easy to weed. As you can see, I wasn't really having any hard time pulling even the color of white. Alright, so now here I'm just removing the little tiny pieces left. So I would do the same thing with the other color. Alright, here I'm finishing with the wooden part and now it's time to heat press. Alright, I have to mention it that it's not necessary to use a heat press or easy press like I'm going to be doing in, in here. Uh, you can also use just a regular iron for home. Just You have to be just careful and start it with a low temperature and just adjust it as you need. Alright, so here I just have my t-shirt ready. I'm just trying to make sure that I have the right a measures to place my design then I place a wax paper and then the press all right so as you can see I play with the heat uh, back and forth because it wasn't ready yet so once the press was ready I just continue with the right temperature and repeat the step and now we have a beautiful t-shirt look at that absolutely so beautiful all right so because i got really excited with the t-shirts i did another cute design and i'm going to be placing it on a white t-shirt so here i'm just showing that i used the orange and black color for this cute design so all right so for this one was just a cute design it says happy halloween it has a little room and i just love it so now i'm just going to place the first part and use the press remove the clear part and look at that how cute all right so for the final touch the little bloom repeat the same step and voila there you have it look how cute <laughs> i just love it all right so now i have the final review for you and i think they came out absolutely beautiful But I'm always happy to know what you guys think and if you are interested in purchasing 
this material a uh, make sure you go and check it out my description box i will leave all the links in it and also a discount code all right so don't miss that <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a big big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and see you guys next time ciao ciao